Drew Brees has a limited time card in the game right now for beating Dan Marino in all-time career passing yards. So I'm going to spend every last coin I have to try to pull him. I do pack sprees like this pretty often because I do grind the game a lot. I don't spend any money on the game, so if you're a budget team like me and you just grind the game and try to maximize the promos that come out, then go ahead and subscribe because that's what this channel is about. That being said, whatever golds and silvers I get, I'm going to be putting into tokens, and whatever elites I can't sell or use, I'm going to be making elite tokens out of, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to make some specialty packs, and I also have a Doritos pack for you guys, so stick around to the end to see those big boy packs. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? All these coins that I've been grinding for... They're just disappearing right in front of my face, and these packs are probably going to be garbage. What am I doing? It's kind of like ripping off a band-aid, you know? It starts off with a really bad idea to spend all your coins on terrible packs with terrible odds, and you just got to buy the packs until you don't have any coins left quickly before you change your mind, and you do it for the people. You remember, you got to do it for the people, not because you think you're going to pull anything because I'm not going to pull anything but now is the hard part because I have 32 packs and nothing to talk about and I'm not going to sit here and read the name of every card because you guys can obviously read so I'm not going to do that so what do I talk about a that Rod Woodson is not a bad pull though because he goes for like 14k so that's kind of like an elite pool a lot of the 80s and 81s are going for like 9,000, so that's actually better than that, so I'll take it, but I want something red. I want something shiny. Can I get something shiny? I'm like that crab dude from Moana. Shout out to all the dads who watch Moana with their kids like 30 times. I'm like the crab from that movie. I just want shiny stuff. I don't care about none of these golds and these silvers although I am gonna make tokens with that but oh yeah the Khabib and Connor fight did you guys watch that or did you just hear about it the next day cuz I was gonna do that and I was on YouTube and somebody put a link in the guy's stream so I clicked it and it actually worked and it took me to some weird website and I was watching the fight for free so I watched Khabib vs. Connor, and it did not go well for him. <laughs> the whole thing was just all bad, and then what happened after the fight was also... Wait, wait, hold up. Shh, 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 shh. What? What just happened? Okay, so... Anything Series 1 I can get out of these? That was dope. That was dope. I wonder how much that dude goes for. I might just back out and check. And I got a McManus. He might actually start for me because my kicker is pretty terrible. But back to the Connor and Khabib fight. It was just bad for Connor off rip because Khabib pretty much took him down every time he wanted to. I think he only stopped a couple takedowns and it didn't really amount to much because Khabib would just turn around and try again because he's like that. He just doesn't give up and he pretty much got him down regardless and another animation, Eli Manning. Hey, those cards are just like the Hall of Fame cards. They go for a lot so that's kind of like an elite pool. I will take it. I mean, I have to because they gave it to me, but I will take it. Question mark. Andrew Sandeo, you're going in elite token. But yeah, and then when it actually was stand-up, I think towards the middle of the third round, they had a good amount of stand-up, maybe like two minutes straight of them both standing up. And at one point it was weird because they were just standing in front of each other not really moving much. They were both tired, obviously, but they weren't moving at all. They were just standing there punching each other in the face, and it looked like 
Khabib got the best of all the striking too. It was terrible. Like C Connor is known for his striking ability, and he wasn't landing nothing. And I think Khabib almost knocked him out with one punch. Actually, I'm not gonna go that far. It it wasn't like a sleeper. He just hit him hard, and he stumbled and fell back. But he was still conscious and aware. So. Yeah, it was pretty disappointing if you're a Connor fan and also disappointing if you're a Khabib fan, which is weird to say because of what happened after the fight, but ultimately Khabib did win, so I don't know if there's going to be a rematch. I don't think there will be. Hold up. A veteran? A veteran. Chris Long veteran card. Why was that the same animation as the Football Outsider? Do they share the same animations? That's kind of weak. But I got a Football Outsider and a Veteran. I like that. But yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a rematch. I heard a rumor that somebody in Khabib's training team said that Khabib was going to try to beat Connor and then retire, which would actually be dope and smart because... Not only would he retire undefeated and retire young, so Logan Ryan don't care. He's going in a token set. But he would retire young, so he'd have time to be with his family and spend his money and stuff because he made a lot of it. And he would also retire undefeated after beating one of the top names in the sport in history, who is Conor McGregor, kind of like the poster boy of the UFC right now. So think about that. Retiring young, rich, after beating the top guy in the sport in terms of money and popularity. And also starting a riot after. <laughs> that would be kind of a dope way to retire. You know, you do all that stuff and you just walk away. Hold up, hold up. Two elites. Oh, come on. I thought that was going to be a dope call. I thought that was going to be like an 85 or higher. But I will I will gladly accept two elites in a gold player pack. Let's go. I don't know what it is right now, boys, but these packs feel like they're heating up, don't they? Doesn't it seem like I'm starting to get some crazy pulls? Let's hope that we can be great and get Drew Brees in the next five packs because I don't have any coins left and I'm not putting any money into this game. I'm not doing it. But that's enough of the Connor and Khabib talk. Uh, I just been grinding the game and I haven't had a lot of uploads. I didn't upload my ultimate rewards because they haven't really been good and I'm not going to upload me just getting a bunch of gold and silvers as I get nothing but gold and silvers. But I just don't really want to upload junk and just filler. Because you guys see enough of that on YouTube. Just videos just for the sake of monetization. I'm not going to do that. But I've been playing the game still. And I'm going to try to get to the max mutt level so I can get the dope rewards from that. But... There will be a lineup update on the channel soon, so look out for that. And also, I've been playing a lot of head-to-head. -head. Hold on. Uh, okay, that's one of the set cards. That's not going to... I mean, it's going to go for like 20k, but he's hella fast. Look how fast he is. On a tight end, that might actually be a really good card for like split close or um, that... Deuce tight end set, the single back set, I forget what it's called. Is it Deuce close? I don't remember, but I, I never used that playbook. I never used the Saints playbook back in uh, last Madden. And also, it's in this year's Madden too, but I never used that playbook. So, I don't remember what it's called. So, 32 packs down. And as you can see, I still have no coins. I haven't sold anything that I pulled yet. Hopefully I get something dope out of here. But I'm going to go ahead and open up these Team Diamond packs because I have a lot of Nigel 
Brad Ham. I guess that's a pretty good pull. It's better than getting three golds. And I was actually thinking about picking this dude up, but I have Miles Jack, and they're kind of like the same card, but Miles Jack is faster. Uh, but if they release a better Nigel, then I'll probably end up switching because I have a lot of Eagles on my team, and I've been thinking about picking up the Eagles jerseys and doing the Eagles team chemistry because I have a ton of Eagles on my team. Uh, Brian Dawkins and a whole bunch of other dudes that I can't think of right now because I'm trying to think of it. But as I get three golds, this dude actually got a rising star, so shout out to Derek Barnett. I actually thought his rising star was going to be better than it is, but it's actually kind of terrible. He doesn't have anywhere near the block shed that he should have to be a starter for me or most people. So I think a lot of people are going to pass on that. Clay Matthews, he's a beast, but does he go for a lot though? That's the real question. And a linebacker with 78 speed, that is a no-go, unless he's playing end. He can hit 90 block shed with run stuffer, but hopefully this card goes for a decent amount and we can make some coins back for putting all those coins into packs. And for my last token pack, I'm going to get a Jack Conklin. Okay, that's not bad. He's one of the better Series 1 cards. Right tackles go for a lot, so I should get some good coins for this pool. And to round out the video, I have a Doritos pack for you guys. Keep a lookout for my lineup update. Subscribe for more Mad 19. I also upload Battle Royale gameplays. So that's pretty much it. I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one.